Good afternoon. I was just going to ask that you give a big round of applause for the Brunswick County Band under the direction of Tom Smickless, who provided our music prelude. Uh, please remain standing for the singing of the Star Spangled Banner, performed by Morgan Holenke, a rising junior at our Brunswick Early College High School. Please continue standing after the national anthem for the invocation by Reverend Quan Stewart, pastor of St. John Missionary Baptist Church in Bolivia, North Carolina. Let us pray. Most gracious and wonderful Father, we thank you for this grand opportunity you've given us once again to acknowledge you for who you are. You've been good to us. You've blessed these graduates to go through the course of study. Nights, God, where they toiled and wondered if they'll ever make it. But today, God, you've proven yourself once again. You've steadied their minds. You've steadied their hearts. And today, God, we celebrate what you've done through them. We pray a special blessing upon each of their lives. Continue to nurture them as they do your will. Continue to bless Brunswick Community College and all those who are the foundation who attach to this institution as they continue to mentor, mentor young lives. God, we thank you for the families and the friends who've encouraged them along the way. 
who stood beside them and lifted them up when they felt like giving up. Thank you for all the teachers and professors and instructors who gave of themselves, not for the money, not for the praise, but because you've given them so much to they have no other choice but to give back. Continue to bless this county that as they, we continue, God, to teach our children the ways that you have us to teach them, that we'll continue to look forward to you to be our compass and our guide. Now, God, we pray that you'll bless and be with us in this experience as we celebrate all you've done for us. Continue, God, and we pray that you will speak through Dr. Rabin, that he will give us words of encouragement and uplift, that as we leave from this place, we'll leave here different from whence we came. We love you, we adore you, and we bless you now. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. <laughs> it's my pleasure to welcome you today as we gather to honor and to confer degrees upon the class of 2015. Before we begin, I want to offer each of you my personal congratulations for your hard work and for a job well done. <laughs> Graduates, I'm certain that you could not have reached this milestone alone. Let's thank those who have supported your success. Please give a standing ovation to your family and friends. Now, grads, turn to your left and recognize and thank the instructors who have worked hard to prepare you for this day. Now you may be seated again. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce our platform party. To your left is Mr. John Jones, chair of the BCC Board of Trustees. Dr. Bill Rabin, former BCC trustee and member of the North Carolina Senate. Reverend Quan Stewart, pastor of St. John Missionary Baptist Church. Dr. Denise Houchenclackett, Dean of Academic Support at BCC. Ms. Cheryl Skaggs, principal of BCC Early College High School. <laughs> and Mr. Les Tubb, Superintendent of Brunswick County Schools. To your right, Dr. Sharon Thompson, Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs. Ms. Sheila Galloway, Vice President of Business and Finance. Mr. Ronnie Bryant, Chief Information Officer. Mr. Jonathan Thrift, our 2015 BCC Distinguished Alumnus. Dr. John Gray, Dean of Arts and Sciences. <laughs> Ms. Gina Robinson, Dean of Professional and Technical Programs. And Ms. Velva Jenkins, Vice President for Continuing Education and Workforce Development. I'd like for you to join me in recognizing our trustees, foundation board members, and elected officials and special guests today in the audience. The Brunswick County or I'm sorry, the Brunswick Community College Board of Trustees represents over 100 years of collective leadership to the governance of the college. It is through their wisdom, support, and dedication that the college is able to provide exceptional educational opportunities and distinctive services to the citizens of Brunswick County. Will the trustees please stand when I call their names? Mr. Jim Bradshaw, Mr. Dwight Flanagan and his wife, Linda. Ms. Wontana Frank, Mayor Allen Holden, Mr. Patrick O'Brien, Mr. Doug Terhune, Mr. Art Skipper, Ms. Linda Stanley, Dr. Allen Williams. Mm -hmm. 
With a primary focus on scholarship support, the foundation of Brunswick Community College is dedicated to opening the door of education for those who need financial assistance. Today, graduation is the realization of the fruits of their labor. Foundation board directors, please stand when I call your names. Ms. Carolyn Felton, president of the BCC Foundation. Mr. Mike Forte, vice president. Mr. Ben Baker, Mr. Jim McCallum, and Mr. Art Mallory. I'd also like to recognize uh, Mr. Randy Thompson, Brunswick County Commissioner. He's an elected official. And are there any other elected officials in the audience? Finally, we have a few special guests today. The guests of our performer, Morgan Holinko, her parents, Alex and Monique. Where are you? There they are. <laughs> guests of our distinguished alumnus, Mr. Jonathan Thrift, his wife, Jennifer Thrift, his mother and stepfather, Tanya and Dennis Perry, and his father and stepmother, Jerry and Patsy Thrift. Welcome all. At this time, I'd like the chair of the Board of Trustees, Mr. John Jones, to extend an official welcome to the audience from the board. Thank you, Dr. Adams. On behalf of our Board of Trustees, and we have 12 with one student, making 13 on our Board of Trustees. Uh, one of them, the commissioner has asked me to remind you that's a non-paying job. But it's appointed by four by the governor, four by the county commissioners, and four by the Board of Education. And on their behalf, I would like to extend a sincere welcome to all the graduates in this auditorium. And let me tell you, uh, guys, the one sitting in front of me with the gowns and caps on, you're not the only graduates here. There's graduates that Dr. Adams already mentioned behind you that your parents and your spouses are graduating today, too. And you're so smart, this group is so smart. You chose the community college route. Let me tell you, North Carolina is recognized as the best community college system in the nation. And that's thanks to people like Bill Rabin, Frank Eiler, General Assembly, the taxpayers in North Carolina. BCC was listed as the 18th growingest college in the nation. That's thanks to county commissioners, President Adams and her fine staff. And let me just say one word. I said this to the group last year. You live on the coast. Today, you have crossed the waterway, but the ocean is in front of you. And please remember that, because you live close to the ocean, and you see it's rough sometimes, and it's smooth sometimes. But that's the life you have to live. And thank you so much for being here today. Morgan Halenko will now offer a special selection for our graduates. There you'll be. It is a ballad describing the gratitude of one who has felt the support of others in reaching for and achieving goals in life.
Thank you, Morgan. I'm not sure where she went, but thank you, Morgan. I'd like to ask uh, Chair John Jones to return to the podium to deliver a special recognition and to introduce our graduation speaker. Senator Rabin, would you please come forward? Uh, it's been 30 years we've had a Rabin as a Board of Trustee member. His father, Jim Rabin, came on this board and spent 12 years after he left. And uh, Jim Rabin was a close friend of mine. I knew him in Columbus County as Jim, but some people in Brunswick County knew him as Roy. But Art Skipper can explain that some other time. Um, after Jim Rabin left the board, Bill Rabin came on and served for 18 years. Now, I, I told Bill today, Senator Rabin, you, you had some big shoes to fill because his father was a pretty good-sized man, and I think you filled them and filled them well. But we just want to make sure we keep a Rabin on our board forever. So we're giving him a different title today. Dr. Adams, you want to read? The... Yes, sir, if I can hear you. Right, you. Oh, yeah, we're going to turn to the right, to the left, I mean. This is a resolution awarding the title of Trustee Emeritus to Dr. Bill Rabin. This is the first Trustee Emeritus at Brunswick Community College. And I will read that resolution. So get ready. Whereas Dr. Bill Rabin was appointed to the Brunswick Community College Board of Trustees on July 1st, 1996 by the Brunswick County Board of Commissioners and whereas Dr. Rabin's tenure as trustee concluded on June 30, 2014 and the Board of Trustees wishes to formally recognize his contributions to Brunswick Community College and whereas during that time, Dr. Rabin served the board as vice chair and member of the executive committee, chair of the legislative committee, lia liaison to the Brunswick County Board of Commissioners, liaison to the Odell Williamson Auditorium, member of the curriculum committee, member of the diversity and marketing committee, and member of the buildings and grounds committee, and whereas, Dr. Rabin's leadership and support assisted the college during a time of unprecedented growth. And whereas, with Dr. Rabin's support and endorsement, residents of Brunswick County passed a $30 million bond referendum in 2004 that provided funds for the renovation and new construction of campus facilities throughout Brunswick County. And whereas, Dr. Rabin has provided support for the citizens of Brunswick County and the mission of the community colleges through his service in the North Carolina General Assembly. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Dr. Rabin be awarded the title of Trustee Emeritus with all of the attendant rights and privileges of that position, and be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be presented today to Dr. Rabin to convey the esteem in which he is held by the Board of Trustees, the President, and the campus community. I'll stay here and introduce our speaker for the evening. Uh, I just explained to Dr. Rabin once, I'm a graduate of Whiteville High School, not too far from here, but I had a call from the superintendent there at one time and asked me if I believed in free speech. And I said, I definitely do. Everybody should have a right to speak and speak out and be heard. He said, we want you to make a free speech at graduation uh, this year. <laughs> so uh, that, that's, that's the way I got to be. A, so we're going to ask uh, Dr. Rabin, if he believes in free speech, but uh, let me tell you, this is a, a gentleman that I've known for a good while and admired for a good while, and when he was elected three years ago, he hit the road running. He was the uh, head of the freshman senators his first year there. He has served on 12 standing committees. The 12 committees, seven of them standing, the three of them he co-chairs. Uh, he serves on five other non-standing 
committees. I don't believe that's a sitting down committee, but it's not a standing committee. And he chairs one of those. But uh, it is with great pleasure that I introduce to you Bill Rabin, North Carolina State graduate and uh, a graduate from Auburn. Uh, come see us, Bill. Is it Auburn? Or? Georgia. Huh? Georgia. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. It is, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's very difficult to give a speech um, after being so humbled uh, and surprised uh, by the award. Um, I think that is the finest award and the most appreciated award <clears throat> that I have ever received. Thank you all. Thank you very, very much. And I can talk to uh, you a long time uh, uh, about some things, but uh, all of you are ready to go home. Uh, you came here to get uh, what is waiting for you on this table, and I won't make you wait too long. And if I figure out how to keep this microphone up here, we'll be a lot better off. And uh, I would much rather talk to you from the hip. I think I do that better, speaking from the heart. Uh, but if I did that, you would be here too long, and we might be uh, in the middle of the uh, tropical depression by the time I quit, especially telling you how proud I am of you and how proud I am to stand before you. So, having done that, I will give you my prepared speech, and I will tell you since being elected uh, uh, to public office, this is the first prepared speech I've ever given. I usually put one hand in my pocket, and I just start talking about... Uh, what I want to talk about and what I think uh, uh, that I would like for you to hear and the words that I want to leave you with. But having done that and thanking you again, all of you, uh, for, this, for this fine award, I will start. Good afternoon. Madam President, members of the Board of Trustees, Foundation, students, faculty, family, and friends, it is my honor to be with you today to celebrate this very special occasion in the lives of those sitting before me. You have reached a milestone, and you are members of an elite minority and select group in this country, and that is graduates of college. I'm proud of you all. Graduates all, you should have a sense of pride from reaching this milestone. Embrace that feeling. Feel good about yourself today and every day forward. This degree was obtained only through hard work and dedication and sacrifice. You have proved that you can land on your feet. You, can prove, you have proved that you can meet the tests that are given you. And we celebrate today with pomp and circumstance. Thank you, Ben. Commencement, by definition, is a formal occasion and traditional exercise. Therefore, I give you a formal and traditional speech. Diplomas and degrees will be conferred. I'm up here giving you this thought out uh, speech and surrounded by those around me who share in my admiration and support. But let's not get lost in the formality of this ceremony. What this moment represents in time for graduates cannot be commemorated by words that I say. What this occasion signifies is the end of one step in your formal schooling and education, but make no mistake, it is not your last. Many of you will go into the, the job and workforce. Some of you will go on to further your education, but you will all go forward making this a better world. And for that, I thank you and commend you all. Today is yours. Tomorrow and every day of your life from here forward belongs to you and your generation. My generation had yesterday. I'm proud of you all. I had a little spot in here about Brunswick County being the youngest, and it is the youngest of the 58 community colleges. For my nickel, it is the best of the 58 community colleges. It's one of the fastest growing. It has one of the nicest campuses. 
and I think it has the best looking and the smartest students of all 58. For, for those of you who graduated here in Brunswick County, you had a special treat, one that no one else in the state can enjoy. You got a chance to go to college free. Good for you. Good for you. You were wise to take it. We we're proud to make it available to you. All of you came from diverse backgrounds, and when you leave today, you will go in equally diverse uh, places. You will each write your own stories. There will be a book or two in all of you. Make sure that they're well written and well thought and well lived. As you go forward, figure out what you want to achieve. I'm sure you've given that some thought in recent days. Have specific goals. Follow them up with planning and hard work. Be persistent and determined. You've shown that you can be. Don't slack up now. Be proud of your family. Be proud of who you are and where you came from. Never forget those roots. Never forget to come back and to help those like the people sitting here and here and your family and your support group have done for you. That is your challenge. Make sure that you give good use of the degree you have earned to those around you. Teach what you have learned to those who may not know. Be a shoulder to lean on. Be someone to admire. Be a role model and a leader for others to look up to. Tell others what you've discovered by receiving this degree. With that goal, hard work, and perseverance, you can achieve your dreams. Finally, and you've about heard enough of me in my formal speech, finally and most importantly, remember ultimately that the American dream is not seeking money and wealth. And it's certainly not about building an impressive resume. Instead, it is about freedom. Freedom to pursue happiness, however you define it. I want each of you to make sure that your own happiness and your own personal desires are the motivating factors in your future. In closing, I would encourage each graduate here today to realize that this world and all it has to offer stands before you. If you want something in life, go after it. If you have a dream, pursue it. Your achievements here and in the past and in the future will serve as inspirations to all. We celebrate your success today and the bright future that you have ahead. Make the most of it. Being a father and a grandfather and hopefully someone that uh, you can come to uh, as a mentor and that you can talk to who has faith in you and believes in you, I'm going to tell you or give you three things that I want you to do and you're not going to think it's part of a commencement speech. But if you want to live a long life on top of everything that I've said to you today, I'm going to say this to you as a father and a grandfather. Please listen. Please listen. You're going to have a a good time this weekend, and hopefully a good time the rest of your life. We're proud of you. If you want that to be a long and full life, you can do three things, and they're simple. You can wear your seat belt. You can decide not to smoke. And you can make sure you don't drink and drive. If you'll do those three things, you will live a long life. And that was your father, not your senator, not the person giving the speech. That was someone that wants you to take something from here today and remember, as you go to the four corners of this earth, and some of you will, you make sure that this earth is a fair and good and better place for all. Thank you all. God bless you all.
Thank you, Dr. Raven. With the notion of becoming a teacher, Jonathan Thrift completed his associate in arts degree from Brunswick Community College in 2001 and transferred to UNC Wilmington, you know, that popular four-year institution across the ridge. One year later, he returned to BCC to follow what he identified as his passion. Jonathan enrolled in the newly created horticulture program and was among the first four students to graduate from, the B from BCC with an AAS degree in horticulture technology. Jonathan began as an intern at Carolina Creation Landscapes while enrolled in the horticulture program. At the time, the company was in, the in, in its infancy, consisting of two original owners and Jonathan. Over the past decade, Carolina Creation Landscapes has grown from three employees to over 80. Jonathan played a key role in the growth of the company and continues to do so in his current position as general manager. Dean Bennett, director of horticulture technology, says that as Jonathan has grown with Carolina Creation Landscapes, he has also grown as a person. He's always willing to give back, whether it's serving as a member of the advisory committee for horticulture and turf grass, performing as a guest lecturer, or hosting a field trip. From BCC, Jonathan launched a career that has led to significant contributions to his, this community. Ultimately, Jonathan Thrift serves as a great example at hard work, determination, passion, and a positive can-do attitude leads to success. Please join me in welcoming our 2015 distinguished alumnus, Mr. Jonathan Thrift. Thank you very much. I must say that I'm extremely honored by this recognition of this year's Brunswick Community College Distinguished Alumni. I want to especially thank those who nominated me and the committee for their recommendation. 16 years ago, when I first sat where you are sitting today, I had no idea where I was going or what I was going to do. A year later, after much soul searching, I was back at BCC following my heart and working toward my dream job in the field of horticulture and turf grass management. I knew I was finally in the right place, headed for a career that I would love. The current department head, Dean Bennett, not only gave me the knowledge needed to carry me to where I am today, but he was also an inspiration through his dedication and his ability to pass on his enormous passion for horticulture to his students. I would be remiss if I did not thank him personally for this. It is said that passion is the difference between having a job and having a career. So it is my hope for all of you that you can do as I was able to do and follow the words of Confucius who said, choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. Thank you and best wishes to you all. Okay, presentation of awards, the President's Award. The President's Award recognizes the graduate who has achieved the highest academic average with the most hours earned at the college. I'm delighted to ask Maddie B. Palazzi to join us on stage. While B is making her way to the stage, this is quite a surprise, I would like to share her accomplishments with you. B began her community college journey with us in fall 2007 while working full time in the president's office. For the 17 semesters 
that she has been at Brunswick Community College as a student. She has made the Dean's List each semester with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. <laughs> Accumulating 80 attempted and completed hours. B was inducted into the National Technical Honor Society in 2014. Three words describe B. She is awesome. But how does she put up with me? No, I have no idea. You. I can't say anything. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Adams. You are. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Thompson will present the next awards. The Academic Excellence Award recognizes the student who has a cumulative 3.2 grade point average, is currently enrolled, and has completed at least 12 credit hours in their program of study. I'm delighted to announce the 2015 Academic Excellence Award recipient is Marley Templeman Ramo. While Marley is joining us on stage, I'd like to share a bit about her. Marley is enrolled in the Associate in Applied Science degree in nursing, and she is graduating today. Marley received her Associate in General Education in May 2014, graduating cum laude. She is a dedicated nursing student who, who juggled exemplary care for four small children over the past two years with integrity and confidence. The Dallas Herring Award recognizes a student who embodies Dr. Herring's philosophy of taking people where they are and carrying them as far as they can go. I'm delighted to announce the 2015 Dallas Herring Award recipient is Missy Frank Williams. <laughs> While Missy is coming forth, a few of her accomplishments include graduating from Brunswick Community College in 2014 with an Associate in Arts degree and immediately enrolling in the Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education program at North Carolina Wesleyan University. This proud wife and mother of two credits her personal family and her community college family with encouraging her to stay the course and achieve her dreams of being a college graduate. Congratulations, Missy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are great. Then go to the front. There you go. <laughs> The Robert W. Scott Leadership Award recognizes a student leader who is enrolled at least half time, is in good academic standing, and has a grade point average of 2.5 or greater. I'm delighted to announce the 2015 Robert W. Scott Leadership Award recipient is William Drake Harper. <laughs> Drake is enrolled in the Associate in Science degree and has a 3.267 grade point average. You'll have to stand here for a moment. 
He serves as the president of the Student Government Association and represents the student body on the Brunswick Community College Board of Trustees. Drake is a student ambassador and was named the 2014 Student Philanthropist of the Year by the Cape Fear Chapter of the North Carolina Association of Fundraising Professionals. Today, Drake is serving as a marshal for our commencement exercises. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm going to turn my attention to my right, your left side of the audience, and focus on our faculty, those esteemed leaders that supported your success on this journey. The 2016 Excellence in Teaching Award is a peer award, recognizing one full-time and one adjunct faculty member who demonstrates excellence in the classroom, outstanding leadership, and makes significant contributions to student and college success nominated and selected by his peers to receive the 2016 Excellence in Teaching Full-Time Faculty Member Award. I'm delighted to announce this year's recipient is Dr. Doug Holland. <laughs> Dr. Holland has been with Brunswick Community College since September 1993. He holds an undergraduate degree in biology from the University of North Carolina, Wilmington, and from Western Carolina University, a Master of Science in Biology and a PhD in, Al in Allied Aquaculture. For over 22 years, Dr. Holland has spent his career teaching and promoting aquaculture in North Carolina. According to his nomination, Dr. Holland is a trailblazer for the aquaculture industry. He has tirelessly and relentlessly pushed for aquaculture development and growth in southeastern North Carolina. Congratulations, Doug. Thank you. I love it when people are surprised. <laughs> Nominated and selected by his peers to receive the 2016 Excellence in Teaching Adjunct Faculty Member Award, I am elated to announce Jason Smith as the recipient. <laughs> He began his career with the college in August 2007 and holds a, bachelor, holds, bachelor's and max, I'm sorry, holds a bachelor and master's degree in mathematics from the University of North Carolina at Wilmington. According to his nomination, Jason teaches all levels of math, volunteers his time helping students during their registration, and can be found in the Academic Center for Excellence, tutoring students throughout the year. Congratulations, Jason. Thank you. I'm proud of you. You're gonna be great. Just great. Well, we're at that point in time. Board of Trustees Chair Jones, President Adams, Superintendent Tubb, Principal Skaggs, faculty, staff, family, and friends, I am pleased to present Brunswick Community College's Class of 2015. This year's graduates represent 346 exceptionally bright young men and women 
earning 436 degrees, diplomas, and or certificates. Today, we have 172 participating in the ceremony. Will the candidates for the Associate in Arts, the Associate in Science, and Associate in Fine Arts degrees please rise? The Associate in Arts degree is awarded to Evelyn Andres, cum laude. Anna Bacon, cum laude. Victoria Elizabeth Barnes, cum laude, also receiving the Associate in Science, cum laude. Stacy De De Deanna Bennett, magna cum laude. Luke Thomas Billingsley, also receiving the Associate in Science. Morgan Deanna Britton. Melissa L. Burroughs. Not much. Yes, sir. Jacques Persian Q. Chambers. Jennifer Elizabeth Chavez, also receiving the Associate in Science. Jasmine Lanice Corbett. Daniel Cortez. Christopher A. Crawford. Jennifer L. Cumby. Jalen J. Daniels, cum laude. Trevor Anthony Diros, also receiving the Associate in Science. Kristen Bree Diffenbaugh. Vanessa Dominguez Tapia. Oh, yeah! Brittany Margina Dunaway, summa cum laude. <laughs> Courtney McKaylin Everett, cum laude, also associate in science, cum laude. Callie McCray Ezell, magna cum laude. Otto Clyde Fable the Fourth, also associate in science. Erica Nicole Freely, also associate in science. Alexandra Gales, also Associate in Science. Amber Goodwin. Aaron Spencer Grant.
Jaquan Timothy Grissett, cum laude. Sarah Atwood Hackley, cum laude, Associate Science, cum laude. Morgan Elizabeth Hartzell. Tiana Hill. Dallas Michael Hoffman. Crystal Diane Inman, cum laude, Associate in Science, cum laude. Noah William Janus, summa cum laude. Stephen Patrick Johnson, Jr., also receiving the Associate in Science. Brittany Nicole Devon Landrum. Amber Dawn Carter LaCourish. Magna Cum Laude, Certificate in Phlebotomy. Kristen Caroline Little. Luke Patrick Lodge, cum laude and associate in science. Drake Hunter Maldonado, cum laude, associate in science, cum laude. Larry McDonald. Carrie Lynn McMillan, cum laude, Associate in Science. Samantha A. Milhoski, Associate in Science also. Elizabeth Louise Mintz, cum laude, Associate in Science, cum laude. Robin Moore. Taylor Leanne Nash. Victoria Gail Norris. Tina S. Aspar. Jennifer Lynn Patton, cum laude. Joseph Michael Payne. Courtney Monet Pearsall, cum laude. David James Young Pravat. <laughs> Najee Pritchett. <laughs> Annabelle Gail Rahal, magna cum laude. Associate Science, magna cum laude. Kyle Rhodes. Sarah A. Rhodes, also Associate in Science. Ashton Brooke Sari. Cum laude, Associate in Science, cum laude. K. 
Caitlin Amanda Shook, also Associate in Science. Sarah Schrader, cum laude, Associate in Science, cum laude. Kelly Janetta Sim. <laughs> Bailey Drew Simpson. <laughs> Monica Nicole Smalls. Carson G. Smith, cum laude. Kendall Ann Smith. Heather Marie Suchek, magna cum laude, associate in science, magna cum laude. Brianna Christine Spansky, cum laude. Thomas Justin Treglia. Zoe Visnu Sweet, also associate in science. Madison Elizabeth Walter, also Associate in Science. Jason Aaron Watts. Sterling Wilson. Haley Worthington. <laughs> Alexandra Ejorona Zanoka. Cum laude. Billie Jean Bailey, Associate in Science, Magna Cum Laude. Austin Blanton, Associate in Science. James Dillon Brown. Jason Andrew Claggett. Associate in Science. <laughs> Kiara Alicia Deschamps, cum laude. <laughs> Isabel Selena Emil. <laughs> Taylor Marie Evans. Joshua Edward Frias. Joshua Godbold, magna cum laude. Jack D. Hargett, cum laude. Benjamin Eric James, Associate in Science, Associate in Arts. <laughs> Kayla Marie Mintz. <laughs> Lauren Pliss, cum laude. Kevin Rowell.
William E. Roseman. Victoria Catherine Stone. John Van Trung. <laughs> Bailey Andrew Watts. <laughs> Janae Simone Williams, magna cum laude. Brittany Crocker, Associate in Fine Arts. <laughs> Ms. Gina Robinson, Dean of Professional Technical, will now come and recognize those students. Will the candidates for the Associate in Applied Science, the Associate in General Education degrees, please rise. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing is awarded to Samantha M. Adamson. Caitlin Bland. <laughs> Mallory K. Gardner. <laughs> Jennifer Griffith. <laughs> Susan J. Cart. Stephanie Jo Lindsay. Kristen Sessoms Locke. Lee Ann Miller. Sarah M. Mize. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Computer Information Technology is awarded to Jonathan Ray, cum laude. Forrest Dellinger, cum laude. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Business Administration, the Associate in Applied Science in Computer Information Technology, and a Certificate in Accounting is awarded to Margaret Louise Esau. The Associate in Applied Science in Business Administration, Certificate in Accounting, Certificate in Business Administration, and Certificate in Small Business Entrepreneur is awarded to Christina Lynn Price, cum laude. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Computer Information Technology is awarded to Fred M. Calder III, magna cum laude. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Aquaculture Technology, a Diploma in Aquaculture Technology, and a Certificate in Aquaculture Technology is awarded to Tamara Campbell, magna cum laude. The 
the Associate in Applied Science degree in accounting, a diploma in accounting, and a certificate in accounting is awarded to Angie Duncan Whalen, summa cum laude. The Associate in Applied Science degree in computer programming is awarded to Aaron Christman. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Cosmetology is awarded to Jessica Selena Guess. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Early Childhood Education and a Diploma in Early Childhood Education is awarded to Miriam M. Conley, summa cum laude. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Early Childhood Education and Diploma in Early Childhood Education is awarded to Angela Michelle Light, magna cum laude. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Early Childhood Education and a Diploma in Early Childhood Education is awarded to Christina Michelle Pearsall, magna cum laude. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Early Childhood Education and a Diploma in Early Childhood Education is awarded to Laura Michelle Smith, summa cum laude. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Early Childhood Education and a Diploma in Early Childhood Education is awarded to Elizabeth Jean Van Meter, cum laude. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Electronics Engineering Technology is awarded to Jake Andrew Boudreau, magna cum laude. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Health and Fitness Science Technology is awarded to Lauren Brooke Ward, cum laude. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Health Information Technology and a Diploma in Health Information Technology is awarded to Deborah Sue Airwood, magna cum laude. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Health Information Technology and a Diploma in Health Information Technology is awarded to Timothy Mark Baker. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Health Information Technology and the Diploma in Health Information Technology is awarded to Sharon H. Callender, summa cum laude. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Health Information Technology and Diploma in Health Information Technology is awarded to Vanessa Gaddy Cook. The Associate in Applied Science and Health Information Technology and Diploma in Health Information Technology is awarded to Tiffany Ann DeHart. The Associate in Applied Science in Health Information Technology and Diploma in Health Information Technology is awarded to Jordan Danielle Evage. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Health Information Technology and Diploma in Health Information Technology is awarded to Sarah K. Hall. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Health Information Technology and Diploma in Health Information Technology is awarded to Cynthia Yvonne Ricks. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Health Information Technology and the Diploma in Health Information Technology is awarded to Ricky L. Stewart. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Health Information Technology and Diploma in Health Information Technology is awarded to Valerie LaVon Walk. (laughs) 
the Associate in Applied Science degree in Horticulture Technology, and the Diploma in Horticulture Technology is awarded to Ashley Barado. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing is awarded to Kizzy J. Marie. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing is awarded to Brooke E. Nowell. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing is awarded to Carla Marie Pawinski. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing is awarded to Marley Real Ramo. The Associate Degree in Nursing and an Associate in Arts Degree is awarded to Denisha Lavette Raines, cum laude in the Associate of Arts Degree. The Associate Degree in Nursing is awarded to Jasmine Nicole Rickard. The Associate in Applied Science Degree in Nursing is awarded to Crystal Skipper. Cum laude. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing is awarded to Courtney Page Sloan. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Office Administration and the Diploma in Office Administration is awarded to Miranda Delane Bryant. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Office Administration and the Diploma in Office Administration is awarded to Gina Fay Malcolm, summa cum laude. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Office Administration is awarded to Maddie B. Palazzi, summa cum laude. The Associate in Applied Science degree in Turf Management Technology and a Diploma in Turf Management Technology is awarded to Rufus Nathaniel Randolph, Jr. The Associate degree in General Education and a Diploma in General Occupational Technology is awarded to Eleanor Elaine Register, cum laude. The Diploma in Cosmetology is awarded to Kaylee Janelle Minozo. The Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Raymond Ernest Brusso. The Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Mary M. Dominguez. <laughs> the Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Lacey Nicole Evans. The Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Krista S. Falk. The Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Shelby Renee Houck. The Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Kayla Celeste Knox. The Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Glenda Leach. The Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Jessica Ann Mays. The Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Melissa Ariella Paget.
The Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Justin Piver. The Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Jennifer Norris Perko Priddle, cum laude. Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Stephanie Lee Rembert. The Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Molly Runyon. The Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Brandy Sellers. The Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Amanda Brooke Stewart. The Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Cherish Vinson. The Diploma in Practical Nursing is awarded to Alexandria Worthington. The Certificate in Cosmetology is awarded to Samantha Bellamy. A Certificate in Cosmetology is awarded to Kayla Klutz. A Certificate in Cosmetology is awarded to Nisa Marie Sumner. Certificate in Cosmetology is awarded to Kimberly Ann Whaley. A Certificate in Cosmetology is awarded to Jessica White. A Certificate in Electronics Engineering Technology is awarded to Christopher A. Pilgrim. Will the candidates for the Adult High School Diploma and the High School Equivalency Diploma please stand? The Adult High School Diploma is awarded to Deborah Jacobs. Sharon Miller. Sharon Whedon. Amanda Branch. <laughs> Danny Heath. <laughs> Rebecca Hodge. Melissa Jacobs. Q. 
Keaton Killen. Megan Maggard. Mariah White. And a high school diploma, adult high school diploma, is awarded to Brittany Williams. Let's hear another drum roll for those awesome graduates. It's not easy to pull off a graduation of this size, as you well can imagine. Uh, I'd like for, for you to allow me to uh, extend some thank yous to those who have contributed behind the scenes to make this happen for you grads. I want to recognize the BCC facility staff and landscape crew. Our Brunswick Interagency Program, they have provided the greenery for the stage here. Mr. Mike Sapp, who is the Executive Director of Events for BCC, and the Odell Williamson staff. Big hand. I want to recognize the lady behind the camera. Uh, where is London Smith? There's London right over there. She's responsible for your program and your pictures. And one you'll really want to recognize is Chris Dye. She is our registrar. And remember I mentioned last night she's counted every credit to make sure that you could sit here today. Chris. Okay, candidates for graduation, please stand. By the authority vested in me by the state of North Carolina and the Brunswick Community College Board of Trustees, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I hereby declare you to be graduates of Brunswick Community College. Graduates, you may turn your tassels right to left. You got it. It is my honor to present to you for the first time the class of 2015. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the recessional and remain at your seats until the graduates have all exited. Then join us in OWA Event Center for a light reception. In addition, there will be a graduate reception in Building I immediately following the ceremony for all high school equivalency and adult high school graduates. I want to congratulate everyone, say safe travels, 
and happy Mother's Day.